Hello everyone. I hope all of you are staying at home being healthy. In previous session, we were studying about the measurements in the physics part. Today in this session, we will study about biology, the part of science. Let's start with the introduction to biology. The science which deals with the study of living things and their life process is called biology. It is derived from the Greek word bios means life and logos means study. In this way, the biology is from Aristotle is known as the father of biology. The term biology was coined by Lamarck. There are several branches of the biology, but here we will study the three major branches of biology. They are botany, zoology, and microbiology. Botany it is the branch of biology that deals with the study of different aspects of plants. Operators is known as the father of botany. Microbiology it is the branch of science that deals with the study of different aspects of microorganisms. Lewin Rick is known as the father of microbiology. Geology it is the branch of science that deals with the study of different aspects of animals. Aristotle is known as the father of geology. Similarly, we will study about the features of living beings which are summarized as below. Living beings are made of cells. Living beings obtain and use energy. Living beings grow and develop. Living beings reproduce. Living beings adapt to their environment. Living beings respond to their environment or stimulus. Similarly, we have features of non-living beings also. They are summarized as below. Non-living Non-living do not have cells. They do not have a definite and certain size of their own. They take the shape of the substances they are contained in. For example, a liquid takes the shape of its container. Non-living things grow by accretion. It occurs through aiding materials externally. For example, a snowball may increase in size due to the accumulation of smaller units of its own to its outer surface. Non-living things never die. They, they exist eternally. Immortality, immortality is a distinguishing factor. Absence of fundamental life process such as reproduction, nutrition, excretion, etc. are the features of living beings. I have also attached the differences between plants and animals on the basis of their character. Size. Plants generally are not definite. Animal size is definite. Chlorophyll. Present in all plants, absent in animals except the euglena. Mode of nutrition. Autotrophic. Taking in water and carbon dioxide. Heterotrophic, taking in solid, complex food materials. Locomotion, usually sits on the ground and unable to move except for few plants. Usually move from one place to another for food and other purposes. Good. Indefinite, unlimited, growing throughout the life. Definite and limited, stop or growing after shortened days. Organs. No special organs and nervous system is absent. Special organs for respiration, excretion and digestion in higher level animals. This much for today. Thank you. Stay safe and stay healthy.